Dear learners, welcome to another video on Swayam. In this video, we will specifically deal with the topic teaching through Swayam. Let us take a quick glance at the topics covered here. We will talk about few key terms, the Swayam board, Swayam academic board, national coordinators, creation of online courses on Swayam, intellectual property rights and copyright handling. These are a few key terms that one should know about. The first one is subject. It is a specific area under a discipline, for example, physics, chemistry, etc., which is taught in an educational institution consisting of specific programs or courses that result in the awarding of a certificate, diploma, degree, etc. The next term is course. There are two types of courses, credit courses and non-credit courses. Credit courses are those courses that are taught for at least one semester as part of a specific subject or program. Non-credit courses are those that solve courses like awareness program, continuing education program, or training of specific skill set as an independent course that are not part of any set curriculum. It can be of any duration, which is often short. Next, let us see what host institution and parent institution mean. A host institution is an educational institute that offers the MOOC and conducts end examinations and then awards credits and certification. A parent institution is the institute in which a student for MOOC is registered. Now, Let's talk about the Swayam board and its ancillary bodies. To manage a huge platform like Swayam, there must be a responsible body that makes sure that the different processes run smoothly. To ensure this, there is the Swayam board of which the Swayam academic board, national coordinators and course coordinators are a part. We will discuss each of these bodies in detail. Moving on, let's see what the Swayam board is. It is a body responsible for managing Swayam and Swayam Prava by coordinating the work of technical and academic bodies to deliver high quality education. The board is composed of a seven set committee with members from different areas. The main functions of Swayam board are listed here. It takes the important decisions that are necessary for the smooth functioning of Swayam and Swayam Prabha. It also lays down policy regarding implementation issues within the parameters laid down by the competent authority that include the cost payable for development and delivery of courses, examination fees, and accepting content from foreign or private institutions and universities. It reviews the progress of each NC regarding sanction, progress, development, and delivery of various online courses. It also attends to any other matter that arises during the operation and delivery of Swayam and Swayam Prava. Let us now proceed to Swayam Academic Board. It is the body that is responsible for guiding the national coordinators and for laying down quality standards. This board is composed of a six set committee with selected members from different areas. 
the key functions of the academic board are it monitors the quality of the courses on swayam and lays down quality standards it also ensure smooth conduct and offering of course on swayam it is responsible for the coordinated integration of swayam and swayam prabha the board monitors the progress of the conduct of term and examination from swayam courses and resolves all the issues related to it it also monitors the progress and matters of transfer of credits and reserves related issues now we shall move on the national coordinators and course coordinators the national coordinators are those institutions that have been designed and designated by the ministry of education and are assigned a specific sector for the preparation of online courses on swayam national coordinators constitute the following committees of academic advisory council and subject matter expert groups the academic advisory committee consists of academicians for assisting the national coordinator to consider and take decision on every book proposal the matter experts groups for each subject consists of academicians for evaluating the proposals for online courses and make recommendations for its acceptance improvement or rejection let us also see who a course coordinator is basically the course coordinator is a subject matter expert belonging to a reputed institution or industry or a specialist in the field of identified and is interested with the responsibility of developing online course in a given area by the nc given here is a list of all the national coordinators appointed by the ministry each of the national coordinators are assigned a specific thrust area and they are responsible to develop the courses pertaining to those areas here is a screen graph of indira gandhi national open university swayam login page that shows the university inviting expression of interest eoi from experts in different areas as course coordinators to develop moocs in both credit and non credit streams all the national coordinators function in a similar way to develop the courses that are made available on swayam let's now look at the five step process to develop a mooc and make it available on swayam the first step is identification the national coordinator identifies courses where online education is possible and preferred it seeks expression of interest for course coordinators the second step is pre production activities once the course coordinator is in place they constitute an academic team of educationalists with proven abilities to prepare teaching learning materials the third step is production activities once the national coordinator approves the course coordinators work they can move on to production of videos once the production is done then the fourth step commences where post production activities are done on the material created the last and final step is to review the course content and acquire the necessary approvals we shall discuss each of these steps in detail in the upcoming video given here are the 
terms of intellectual property rights and copyright handling for the content produced for MOOCs on Swayam. First one is the course coordinator shall follow copyright laws for any readings, images, and video clips used as core and supplementary reading in case if licensed material is used and submit an undertaking to national coordinator. Second one is all contents like text, audio, video, animation, quiz, etc. developed with the funding of NMEICT with, will be the property of Swayam. All courses and contents posted in Swayam will be copyrighted to Swayam. Ministry will from time to time announce policies for access and charges. If any, for certification and will also publish appropriate open educational resources policy in consultation with other national and international bodies. Fourth one is the course coordinator shall be given explicit permission for creating books and other distribution materials ever for commercial purposes with the explicit undertaking with contents published in Swayam shall remain there. The terms of service should be clearly laid out to address the following key points by the course coordinator. Any disclaimers should be clearly spelled out. User, student, institutions should be informed about the usage rights of the course content available on Swayam. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Do watch the next video to know more about development of course proposal for Swayam.